This is Rock Hard Riffs, Guitar Jam for the self time. This is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. In today's video, we're going over the Beatles' white album classic, Rocky Raccoon. Now, hey, if you happen to be new to our channel, please take a look at our playlists. There's all kinds of stuff in there. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We'd truly appreciate that. Now, you might see a couple different ways of fretting a couple different things in this song. First one is, are you familiar with fretting a G like this? Okay, you're your ring finger is on the sixth string at the third fret, your middle finger is on the fifth string at the second fret, and your pinky is on the first string, or your high E string, at the third fret. Okay, that's a G. It's a little difficult for beginners or just not used to getting that big of a stretch. If you aren't, don't worry about it. Just fret it like a normal G. That's not a problem. But you may see it like this in other places, or other people playing it that way. The reason being, you go from this G, just lifting the pinky and putting down the index finger, to a G7. Okay, that's the point. But if you think about it, you are... That's just as easy, because you're going from a D7, and you just slide that finger up to the third fret, and do that. So the, the point of it is, is to less motion, right? Your economy of motion is the point. But... That's not terrible. Okay, now the next chord is an A minor 7. Now a G is that 7th. Okay, so you open G or G up here. Okay, now this is one way of fretting it. I have my middle, just fret an A minor. So you should know an A minor by now. Take an A minor and just lift your ring finger. That's now an A minor 7. Or put that back and then put your pinky on the G, the 3rd fret of the E string. That's also an A minor 7. So you can do it that way, or that way. All we're doing is adding a G. Okay, so let's start with the song. We're going to start from that A minor 7. I'm going to fret it the simple way for you, in case there are beginners that are doing this. Don't worry about these extra, uh, more difficult frettings. Just work just like this, A minor 7. So we start with the root, which is the A, then... So down, down, up, down. Then we go to a D7. Okay, and now the, of course the root of that is your open D string. Okay, so let's start again. This is the A minor 7th fretted the simple way. D7, now fret it whatever way you want, I'm going to do it the simple way, let's go into a G, and that's the root, then to a G7, so let's start it again. go into this little progression okay we are fretting a C chord a C major and then we hit the root which is the C then lift the ring finger and then take the middle finger that was on the D string at the second fret now just move it down to the A string at the second fret then into that A minor 7 Starting all over again, D7, G, G7, C, then just lift the ring finger, move the middle finger to the A string at the 2nd fret, then A minor 7.
Rocky Raccoon. Super simple, right? You can fret it a couple different ways. Both ways are right. There is no right or wrong. It's just how you want to fret the G. And if you prefer the D, A minor 7 there or there. It's just a personal preference. I think most of the time, actually, I hear Paul fretting it like this. I don't hear that G in there, that high G in there a whole lot. So that's it, guys. Rocky Raccoon. Cool song. Again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next video.